Hey, this is Beth and Jesse with the Upcycled Family. And uh, we're going to go over today how we keep um, our male sheep and goats together. How and why we do that and in which situations we would not do that. Here we've got a couple of our um, buck goats and our um, teeth water ram sheep. And we've been... Ex it really, it started as an experiment with me because I, I'm trying to consolidate all of my male males that I have on the property that uh, are still intact. And, and I decided because of the situation that I have, I've got two, two bucks that are pretty docile um, That as far as goats. Clearly, the one has horns and the other one does not. But this little guy is... His son, and um, he's he's really mellow. Um, he's young, one, but two, his personality is he's very friendly, and he's not uh, a headbutter. He doesn't really use his horns as a weapon um, because the sheep clearly don't have any horns, so they don't really have uh, a way to defend themselves. And I wouldn't put these rams in with goats that one have horns that are like mean with them because I've got some weathers in the back that I wouldn't even try putting them with these sheep because they use their horns to really ram and headbutt. Um, so there's a lot of cases where this would not work but in my case or in this in a specific case where you know your animals um, personalities and what just understanding that they're the dynamic of what you have specifically for your herd, you can make this work. And and so far, we've gotten along really well with keeping the rams with the bucks. Um, if anything, it's the two goats that fight more than anything. I, I do see occasionally the the non-horned buck over there. He'll kind of run his head into the sheep slightly every now and then if it's over food or um, just a little bit in general, but it's never harassing and it's certainly not to, to bully so this has worked out really well for us we've been in this had him in this situation for a couple of months now and i'm really happy with how it's turned out and it, keeping all of the, my breeding males in one consolidated area which makes it easier for me for one feeding and for two i i don't have two pins of of males to have to worry about as far as getting them getting out because that was the intent also for building this pen um, is a, a pin is pretty much impossible for anything to get out of. It's tall enough that they can't go over it, and the, there's posts close enough that they're not going to get out. I really meant to put a steel post here, but outside of that, it's a pretty darn strong fence, so there's not a way for them to get out because the males is, is generally the 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 ones that cause the problems. So that's what I have in a nutshell. Um, but if I had some rams that had horns that were mean, I wouldn't dare try this. Or if I had some rams that they're different breeds with horns, I wouldn't try it because um, you just don't know what You don't know how anybody's going to get along with these guys. These ram sheep are real docile. They're very friendly. Um, they've never once tried to ram me. I could walk in. And they don't have a mean bone in their body. Not not any of them. Um, so this has been a fantastic situation for us because it's made life easy. And it keeps them from getting to the girls when they're not supposed to. And I've got babies back there that they're kind of mean to if they've gotten close to on accident early on when the baby goats were first born. They, they're kind of bullies, but the Teeswater is Teeswater sheep. It's a very docile sheep breed. And I, we're new to sheep, but so far so good. We I think we've picked a good breed. <laughs>